Michael to start today's show. Uh, we have a lot of new announcements to make. We have some new cameras that we're bringing to the NAB show in Las Vegas. So we're super excited about that in April. Uh, a ton of new announcements to make. And uh, today we're going to be showing off our brand new features of the PTZ camera control app from us for, P for PC and Mac users. Uh, we're going to talk about how to use an Xbox controller to control your PTZ cameras. And then we're going to talk a little bit about um, some of the new live streaming features that are available. So let's get started. Hi, everybody. Welcome to PTZ Optics Live. Hello to our friends that have just joined us on Facebook and YouTube. Happy Friday. Uh, in today's show, we're going over the brand new PTZ camera control apps. If you guys have any questions in the comments, let us know. Um, we'll be happy to answer them. We're going to dig right into the brand new PC and Mac camera control software for PTZ Optics cameras. I've got an Xbox joystick controller here. We're going to show you guys how to use that to control PTZ cameras along with a bunch of other new features and updates for uh, folks who are using our PTZ cameras for live streaming. So uh, a big announcement to make is that we're moving our live show from Fridays to Wednesdays. Our live show has been running on Fridays for about four, three, four years. Something like that. You've been going since before I was here. So that's three years. So four, four maybe, maybe five. Four, maybe five years we've been doing uh, Fridays. We're going to move to Wednesdays. It's easier for us uh, to do Wednesdays. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun still. We'll be right before the Streaming Idiots show with Tom Sinclair. He goes at 2 o'clock. No, no. He goes at 3. Or he goes at 3 o'clock on 3 Wednesday. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. Uh, we will keep the same time. So you will see us at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesdays now. That's right. So that's an important announcement as well. So let's dig into the software and show you guys um, what you can do with the PTZ Optics control software. It's totally free. You can download it at ptzoptics.com slash downloads, and it's available for Mac and PC. So let's jump into it. All right, so here's the software here. Um, I'm going to collapse it, okay, because this is like fully set up, fully laid out, but we're going to go ahead and collapse it here. going to get rid of the preview window, get rid of compact mode, and show you that you have this tiny little app here. And it can slide right next to another application or something that you're using, and you can control up to eight cameras. Um, but I am going to show the preview window here, and I am going to kind of get rid of what we have here because I, I don't want to ruin the surprise with our image preview map, which I'll show you guys soon. But let's just hide all of this for now. Okay. And for right now, I just want to show you guys the fact that we have a cool PTZ camera control app. We also have a little picture-in-picture -picture window, which uh, is used for something else that I'll show you guys in a minute. So there's our, our, our Pan Tilt Zoom app, and this is very simple. We can add up to eight cameras. So we can name all of these cameras, and we can quickly and easily Pan Tilt and Zoom them. Um, you can see down here, we can actually have image previews of where the camera is going to go. I moved this camera so it's a little bit off, so I'll have to set a new one here. We'll call this uh, Mike's Hat. Oh. <laughs> actually, said Mike's Hat. Yeah, there we go. Mike's Hat. There we go. And see, it takes a little picture there. So if we go to a new position over here, and then we go ahead and that's a light. Well, it's fine here, go to set, and we'll call this TV. It takes a snapshot, and that's really useful because then you can kind of see exactly where the camera is going to go with a little image preview at the bottom. Probably good if you're working with volunteers. Very good for volunteers, folks who are using stuff like that. Now, you can also at any time take a high-definition snapshot, and that shows you where it was saved to, and you can just take a picture with the application as well. If there's a moment in time that's that you want to save. Yeah, it's just a nice little thing to be able to do. Zoom in and out. Um, and you can have up to eight cameras. Now, how are those eight cameras set up? Well, in the settings area under multi-camera settings, you can name the cameras and enter their IP addresses. Now, it also works with our USB camera models. So if you have a USB camera, 
there'll be a drop down of all the USB cameras on your computer as well. Um, pan, tilt, and zoom. Very simple. You click the camera you want to control, and then you're controlling it. Like here's another camera here. We're upside do, down. Do, do, do. <laughs> and I can flip that so that we're not upside down in the advanced area. So there's an advanced view here. Perfect. Opera. Did you do that on purpose? No, I did not. Oh, and it looks like we're, we need to mirror it as well. There we go. So just to give you an idea. Just showing off all the features. Switching new cameras. Now the pan tilt is a little fast. I like to keep it around like 12. It's a little bit more smooth. And next, this is actually a really great camera view to show the Xbox joystick integration. Now, Yay. I really like Xbox uh, controller integration because you can pick these up for like $20 on um, Amazon and different places. It connects directly via USB to your uh, laptop. And now with like I'm hitting these buttons to zoom in and out and I can use these this D-pad to move left and right. And then this pad up here actually switches cameras. Um, so that's pretty nice as well. So you can switch cameras. You can call a couple presets, I believe. So you get like four presets. Whoa, that was a preset all the way over there on our LED lights. So we've shown Xbox control. How does it work? Well, let's show a little bit more here. Under settings, we can go to uh, additional input settings. And you see here that I have my Xbox controller selected. Mm -hmm. uh, we can also select to use hotkeys. So hotkeys, when that's on, you actually have the ability to use your keyboard and mouse to zoom in and out. So let me show that really quickly. Um, so let's zoom in here. So I'm using the Xbox joystick, and which is really kind of easier. And let's be honest, pretty fun. And fun and cool. But here's my keyboard here. And I'm trying to zoom into this so everyone can see. All right, so here's the WASD. So, whoop. So I'm using the keyboard to pan and tilt the camera. So that, those are the hot keys, and then you can use all these keys, one through nine, as well, to call presets. So if you don't, even if you don't have an Xbox controller, you can still control the camera remotely. A um, few questions coming in, please. All Let's right. The first one, T3 True Design says, do you have to re-download the app to get the new options? Yes. You're going to want to uh, update to the latest version, which I believe is version 1.9 right now. 2.0 is coming soon with some more integrations for new cameras. Will that, we'll that is about. that updated on the downloads page? Yeah, it should be. Okay. It should be. Um, now, uh, the other settings that we didn't look at yet was obviously all the pan zoom control speeds, the exposure modes. The luminance, contrast, hues, all the white balance stuff, getting into the menus. But even more importantly, I'm going to switch back to this camera, is the ability to have an image preview map. And this is my favorite part of this software, especially for a place like a church or somewhere that has volunteers. Um, you can actually take your smartphone and uh, take a panoramic image. I don't know if anyone's ever done that before, but you can take your smartphone. Take a panoramic image of the space, mm -hmm. email it to yourself, and upload it to this app and use it to create a panoramic PTZ preset map. That's complicated. So let's Where take a look. It? So first of all, we'll start with a, well, first of all, let's show what we have here. There so you go. I've already uploaded a file to this space and set it up, but I'm going to set this up with you guys so you can see it. So let's show it full screen real quick. Um, and basically, over here, instead of showing the live preview, we are showing a panoramic image with a live preview in picture in picture. So we can still see where the camera's going, but we've got these little boxes that we can click that send the camera exactly where we're clicking. And you can kind of drag these and change them to where, the, where you want them to go. Like there's the chairs. And now uh, here's another one. It's the foot of the chairs. Let me move the camera a little bit. Let's uh, reset it that might be snapshot. Before. Podium, choir. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing people door. are starting to think about that. Let's set up one more for number five. And we'll just, let's just do that wastebasket there. Let's do the bottom of that door over there. So we'll go to the bottom of that door over there. You can see it in the panoramic image. Go to the bottom of the door. I wish that we had something better than the bottom of the door, but that's what our studio is here. We'll type in the name door. 
Chad used this for football season. Really? That's cool. Set door, take snapshot, and now we can go back from the chairs to the door. Just like that. And so this is just so great because I know, I think Chad works with a lot of students, mm -hmm. volunteers, people who maybe aren't used to using a professional broadcast joystick. The visual cues can be helpful. Oh, the visual cues are great. So somebody just asked um, with the Xbox controller, can you do variable pan tilt? So with the Xbox controller, uh, the pan tilt and zoom speeds are controlled in the advanced section here. But so can you do it at the same time? You would want to, uh, well, you mean pan, oh, I see. Let's try that. All right, Larry, let's zoom and pan at the same, yes, you can. So you can see here, let's show, let's show that full screen again, ready? So I'm zooming and I'm panning, right? If that's what they're saying, yes. You can zoom and pan at the same time. Um, I'll, I'll show that in, let's show that in. Full screen mode, maybe. Here we go. Zooming, panning at the same time. Does it work with SDI? Uh, you have to plug your camera into the network to control it. You can't use um, Ethernet. Now, you can see it's panning slowly because I have it on 7. Mm -hmm. But obviously, if we put it on 16, the panning will be much faster. We're getting questions Ooh, about how light. smooth it is. You can judge for yourself in this demonstration. Um, whether you deem the uh, pan tilt to be I'm going to zoom in here so you can see the lens moving as we zoom in and out. Look at that. It shows you what it's zooming into, too. That's kind of cool. Is there a way to make speed nice. slower if zoomed in? Yes. So see where we have the zoom in? Oh, okay. Oh, I see what they're saying. Well, first of all, let's show slow zoom. So this is like the slowest zoom that it can do. And if you want it to slow down automatically before it, um, let's see here. If you want it to slow down automatically, you can go to uh, PTZ. You see I'm using the OSD menu here to get in here, enter. And there's this thing called speed by zoom. And I, sorry, it's hard, kind of hard to read Ken there. wants to know what the cost is of the app. It's free. So it's totally free. That's good it's included news. with all the PTZ Optics cameras. Is this OBS only? Now, this is not OBS. I know it kind of looks like it. This is just a standalone Mac and PC app. All of this functionality is built into the, the, the PC um, version of the OBS plugin and now Mac as well. This is a desktop and Mac app. Yes, but we do have OBS plugins for Mac and PC that do most of this. And they look similar. They look very similar. I have to ask. Uh, the functionality is slightly different because you can, like, for example, the hotkeys in OBS are assignable. So the hotkeys here, it's just like WASD one through through nine. They're they're pre-existing. Well, they're just whatever your keyboard is. But on um, OBS, they become assignable. So you can use the Elgato Stream Deck or any hotkey in OBS. You use it through the OBS interface. Um. Chad, the analog triggers allow for different levels of speed. I think it's four. Does this work in the app? The analog triggers allow for different levels of speed. I think it's four. Does this work in the app? Oh, the Xbox controller. Um, it, it, this, I, I believe that it, it is just whatever is set to, but I don't think, I don't think it changes. Um, Maybe it does. Let me see. And what about wireless Xbox controllers? I guess they would be wireless USB. Yeah, as long as your computer that? is seeing it with with the um, USB input, it should work. Um, we took to oh, and there was one other feature in here I wanted to show, which is kind of interesting for a lot of folks. This is the pan tilt limit setting. So this is the easiest way to limit how far your camera can pan and tilt. So cool. for football, for example. It's super powerful because now you can say, I don't want to pan out of the field. You're following a football player down the field. You want it to stop right when you hit the, the, the end zone. So as you're panning, you can pan really fast and not be worried about going over to the crowd because you've got that pan tilt limit. The camera's going to stop there. So you can do pan tilt limits on height, uh, up, down, left, and right. So you can really zoom and that's your focus area. And then you can you don't you don't have to worry if you're doing 
tennis, basketball, a lot of sports going back and forth. Even if you're following somebody on stage, a presenter, you know that you're not going to go off stage because you can set those pan tilt limits. So really cool feature. A few questions. Well. Is this going to work with vMix? Yes, it will. It's external to your streaming software or hardware or whatever. It's just a desktop app. Yeah. So vMix does have pan tilt zoom controls, but you know, and I don't want to say it's basic because it's very nicely integrated into vMix mm -hmm. um, and it does a lot of great stuff, but uh, this does so much more advanced features and it's custom designed for PTZ Optics cameras. So, you know, it can really do a lot of uh, white balance and exposure and the preset map and things that I don't think vMix will ever really implement because they just want to have a nice, easy way to automate PTZ control on their software. And they've done that. And you can change the speed at which you control the camera and the speed between presets in vMix. And that's really nice. And I think that Martin has probably taken it you know, he'll probably take it farther, but you know, I don't think he's going to go into in this type of in depth because every camera is a little different and it would be a lot of work for him to do that. Um, so this is specifically designed for PTZ optics. We've built in a lot of features that our customers have asked for, like the Xbox controller app, um, like the hotkeys, for example, and there may be more, uh, features that we can build in for you guys. So please let us know what you think. Give it a try. It's totally free. And if there's something you'd like us for us to build in that you think a lot of people would like, uh, we can do that. So we probably will. Um, building this into OBS was an awesome experience. So many people are using it out in the OBS world. And um, so many people are customizing the open source control software that comes with the cameras. It's been such a fun time. Uh, Chad Burton has done a lot uh, with others mm -hmm. uh, on controlling the cameras with uh, custom built software. T3... True Designs uses this every Sabbath with the same controller. Best thing nice. ever helps me get young people to control a camera while I control the other on an iPad. That's awesome. Michael says we use this app with vMix and it works great. Um, could we go back to the speed by zoom function? Please elaborate. The manual doesn't really clear up what it does. So what the speed by zoom do does is as the further that you zoom in, the slower the pan tilt speeds will be. So uh, basically, if we look at the cameras, and this is actually a really simple, simple scenario, there's seven zoom speeds. Um, and depending on the optical zoom of the camera, like if it's a 12x, I'm oversimplifying this, but let's say there's 12 steps of optical zoom. Each time you zoom in further, the pan and tilt speeds slow down. And the reason why you want to do that is if you're zoomed in really far, uh, on a stage that's far away with like a 30x camera, if it's too fast, you're just zipping around. You can't focus on anything. So instead of having to manually turn down the pan tilt speeds, which which you can do uh, with this app, um, you can just set it to have the automatically slow down the pan and tilt based on the zoom speed. And that way, when you're fully zoomed in, it's going to pan slowly so you can cover more space and logically kind of see what you're working with. Awesome. All right. Well, we have a giveaway we're going to do. So um, we're going to do that really soon. And I cannot wait to do it. So let's go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> Those are filler words for let me pull up the uh, <laughs> drawing here. Here we go. All right. So there's 150 people entered to win this giveaway. Um, so let's do That's it. That's not that many people. So your chances might be okay. All right, we're gonna draw a winner, um, and we'll chat. Let us know you're here the in the chat. chat. Here. Parker Stevens from Montgomery, Alabama. Let's go to YouTube. I'll pop that into the chat room. Congratulations to Parker Stevens. Remember, you have to let us know that you are here and present in the live chat on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. LinkedIn's being silly today. Parker Stevens, Kenny Hampton saying very nice additions to the control. Yeah, I, lo I love the visual cues. Awesome. Is it speed by view zoom curve adjustable? Um, no. That is a good feature request, though. And I know we're working on some things like that um, to do more curves and things like that, which would mean that it would have to be adjustable. So I would say that is coming soon. I don't know exactly when. Uh, by the way, there's a couple of new cameras here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. They've been wanting to show off. 
Um, let's just put them on the slider mic so people can kind of see them, but I won't even say anything about them. I want people to guess. So you guys Parker guess Stevens. what type of cameras these are. I'm going to lower it just a little bit. Just take a look at the IO a little bit. And tell me what you guys think. Uh, maybe an NDI webcam. I don't know. Maybe Where a, is the speed by Zoom? Maybe a new Z, Z cam, maybe. What are you doing? That one. Two SDI outputs? My goodness. Uh oh, Matt Davis is here. Turn it off. No, unfortunately, the curve is not directly adjustable, but can be influenced further by adjusting the pan tilt speeds. All right, why don't you draw another okay. name? All right, we're going to draw another name. Here we go. Brandon Wilson, subscriber from of the podcast from Nashville, Tennessee. Brandon Wilson. Uh oh, he saw the EPTZ camera. All right, I'm going to briefly explain it because it's not out yet, but it's coming soon. I just wanted to, for the folks that watch the live stream, I wanted to talk a little bit about it. This is an EPTZ camera. So something that we're going to be talking about soon. You guys are going to learn more about it. Um, but an EPTZ camera uses a 4K image sensor and allows you to pan, tilt, and zoom up to 1080p, 720p, even further digitally. Um, and maybe we'll let more about that. Will the software be developed to work in the Linux kernel? You know, that's interesting you ask that. More and more people are asking for Linux support. And uh, if you're a Linux user, say something in the chat because I I'm thinking that we might need to do that. I know a lot of people are also using Chrome and Linux is now like in beta for Chromebook users. Like you can use Linux in Chrome. So this uh, next winner here, let's pull them. If you won last week, can you win again? Yes. Right? Yeah, as long as you didn't win a camera Okay. last week. All right, here we go. Kevin Haddock. Yes, and just since we already, the cat's out of the bag, I'm probably already in trouble. Apparently um, you uh, labeled it. Oh, no! Woo -woo -woo. Is that a super chat? Michael's track? saying no. Michael's saying I'm in trouble. Oh. <laughs> Did, am I in trouble? Oh, my gosh. Danger. I shouldn't be showing these cameras. They're not even released yet. Kevin Haddock, are you here? Shul would like Linux. Okay. 30x USB. Um, we have 30x SDI. Is Kevin Haddock here? No, there is no. Yeah, there is no. Oh, he uses a lot Raspberry Pi a lot. David is also a Linux user. Ah, so Raspberry Pi would be nice. Hmm. Now you've got me thinking. What would you do with the Raspberry Pi for those <laughs> folks who are out there? All right, here we go. So we already called Kevin Haddock. Now we've got Nicholas Filer. Wee -wee -wee. Shouldn't be showing these That's cameras. That's funny, Michael. And you have a danger warning thing. When did you get that? He snuck that in. What are you doing, Michael? That's funny. Oh, Chad Burton. Really? Yep. All right. Michael is also. We know he's here. The EPTZ webcam is on the website, but it's hidden. You have to know how to find it. So I don't know how you found it. All right, you so are. You, I don't know how you found it. Yeah. All right. Double, 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 double. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be me when I turn my car on. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh Michael, you're scaring me. You guys are crazy. Uh, okay. So Chad is here. Paul, do you want to spin? All right, Chad's here. Well, Chad gets to choose. Oh, okay. Ch Chul is interested in EPTZ, so let's just, uh, while Chad's choosing, let me just show this camera. I'm already in for it. Apparently already, you labeled something. I'm already in so much trouble that it's, it doesn't even matter. This one here is what I think people are really going to be interested in. This is the first ever NDI webcam. So on the back, it simply has an Ethernet cable. It's totally 4K, Ultra HD. And it has EPTZ functionality. This one over here is a similar version with USB, USB 3.0 and HDMI. 
And then finally, to complete the EPTZ world, these are all 4K, by the way, uh, a dual SDI output. Ooh, one SDI output that has a wide angle view and one that has the EPTZ. What is going on? Now I'm in trouble. Oh, Don is getting a producer kit nice. for his house of worship. That's awesome. Raspberry Pi would make a nice, really nice little controller. Okay, Chad, okay. who's spinning? Who do you want to spin, Chad? Spin the wheel for you. I'm going to hide these cameras. He I wants to know if he can win an EPTZ. I'm in so much trouble. Hide those cameras. You'd have to wait a long time to get it. Wally? He wants Wally to come on. Oh, my gosh. He knows about Wally. Oh, my goodness. Don't he knows too much. Don't about that. All right. I'm going to spin the wheel. That's that, You've gone too far, Chad. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. Wally's hand came in the scene just for a minute, and then he, he changed. It's like Superman. Changes super fast. Oh, my gosh. It goes Where is it money. going to? What is what that? What is that? It's the Android app. All right. You won the Android, Android app. Android app. Flashing lights, exploding cars. I officially have no idea what's going on anymore. All right. That's so good. Michael, it worked. You confused Matt Davis enough. Now he doesn't even know what to wiped. think. Now no one knows anything about these new cameras. <laughs> it's all for dramatic uh -oh. effect, Matt. They know about it. Oh, they know about the NDI webcam. Oh gosh, don't tell anyone about that. It's not officially released yet. All right, um, we have a quick um, podcast. Yes, we're gonna head over to the podcast. If you'd like to, to stay along, studio. we will continue streaming that. We'll talk a little bit about some of the things that we weren't supposed to talk about and then uh get in trouble a little more. See you in a brief few.